Okay, so there's no if, ands, or buts today. I feel great. This is gonna be what, day number four, three? Day three, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Day three of feeling basically symptom free. But today's important day, it's Wednesday. Something on Disney Plus just came out. First of all, I have been addicted, addicted to The Witcher. So shout out to whoever commented. A lot of you guys actually commented on my thing on Instagram. So thank you for that. The Witcher is a great show. I'm already on season two, but we got to switch to uh, Disney Plus. Boop. Star Wars, The Book of Boba Fett. I think it's just one episode. Oh, sometimes I do too, but we're going to watch it. It just came out. How long is it? 39 minutes, I'll catch you guys in 39 minutes. I will say though, this is the one thing I dislike about the stream. Actually, someone actually asked yesterday, what are the streaming services that I watch? I'll get to that. But this is the one thing I dislike about Disney Plus is they only release one episode per week, which uh, Netflix, they'll release the whole season and whatnot. So it's the one thing I dislike about Disney Plus is that they only release one episode and I have to wait like whole week like a tra traditional um, show. But um, streaming services I obviously watch are Disney+, Plus, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, and that is pretty much it. And I've kind of got a feeling Disney+, Plus does that because they don't have enough content versus like a Netflix. Netflix has so much content, so I think Disney+, Plus they have that strategy of uh, releasing one every week because they don't really have that much content on the regular releasing. So I think that's why they, they do that. I keep pausing the episode, but like I haven't shaved in forever. Can you guys tell? I look like a wildebeest. That's when you know I'm not feeling good is when I don't shave. I could theoretically do it today, but I kind of like it. I'll do it once I go out, hopefully on the 31st. I think we're still on track to leave on the 31st, but you never know. If I don't feel good tomorrow, then I'll probably call it off. I also have a question because I've been DMing some of you guys over on Instagram and I've been researching COVID. Is it true that you can kind of have symptoms throughout even like after like you start feeling good? Um, meaning I know some obviously like some people haven't regained their taste. Some people actually have like a, a cough that keeps on going. So I'm kind of scared some of these symptoms might start creeping back. I don't really know. And I, I, someone said that the Omni... Um, which I have and I call Omni. I know it's not the right pronunciation of it, but obviously I think I have the Omni because with Omni, the variant Omni, um, you don't lose your taste. So that's kind of interesting. So obviously I haven't lost my taste or I'm hopefully not going to, but I have like had a cough. So I wonder if this cough is going to like continuously ongoing, even period periodically afterwards, like months down the road. I don't know because a lot of people have been having like a lot of COVID complications even after like like um, they've healed from it. So that's kind of something that just makes me a little bit worried about COVID. And um, I don't know. If you guys know anything else, let me know. My sister's kind of been teaching me just because she uh, takes care, care of COVID patients every single day as her job at a, as a nurse in the ER. So well, actually, I think she works sometimes in the ER. I don't know if she's exactly ER, but that's the one thing I think I'm generally worried about is um, COVID complications afterwards, or like COVID symptoms continuing afterwards. Like, I don't know. You know, there's one thing about Boba Fett and um, the Mandalorian. We're 12 minutes into this episode. Um, this might be a spoiler, this might not be. So if you guys don't wanna be spoiled, uh, skip next 10 seconds. Your warning, three, two, one. They're really, really good at um, not saying anything. We're 12 minutes in and they haven't said a word. And the second I said that, they just spoke for the first time in the episode. Okay, that's not really a spoiler, but. One thing that's gonna be interesting while we're in the parks, um, me walking around is, is walking around going to get me winded now? That's gonna be interesting. Well, I mean, not interesting, but you know, it's gonna be interesting to see if that actually happens because I kind of did have that symptom like four days ago. Uh, when I was just, I just wanted to see if I had it. I was just jogging back and forth in the, in the house. Um, and I did get kind of winded, which made me actually get this little device. It uh, measures how much oxygen you have in your body. A lot of you guys told me to order this, so I did order it. There's my um, vitals, if you guys can read that. Can you read that? It says 97 and then 63 beats per minute. Is that slow? I feel like this video is just kind of like just talking and whatnot, but that's okay. It's kind of just been my other video, my whole videos this whole week. Um, a lot of you guys were saying kind of like be on the the cautious side of going out and um, in society with people who do not have COVID. Um, you were like saying, be cautious about going out on the 31st. Um, well, 
the first is the technically the first day with the 10 day rules that I would have been able to go on out around people in society at the grocery store at Disney um, people didn't have COVID I was able to go on out um, on the first so um, that's why I'm like saying I'm just monitoring it and most likely we'll be going out on the 31st I don't know we'll see though we'll see though I still might not go out on the 31st and wait till the first it all really just depends and whatnot but I just finished the first episode of Boba Fett and here's my reenactment of how I think Boba Fett and the Mandalorian both are first film <laughs> i'm the real though they don't talk in these in these movies um sorry tv show yeah you can kind of tell that um i'm pretty darn bored i'm pretty darn bored although that only took like 10 seconds to make of me just being weird <laughs> you know what a lot of my older videos on youtube which are on private are kind of all like that but they're a little bit better but they're really weird and i'm going to treat you guys to one of those right now it's super embarrassing all i'm going to show you a little bit of it now I don't think I can include the uh, actual audio in there because I'm probably gonna get a copyright strike. So I'm going to try to um, replace the audio with something that I can find it that matches where I can actually um, use the music. This is from 2014, so seven years ago, which would make me 20. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. That was so weird. Don't worry, there's a build up. Here it comes. <laughs> what am I looking at? This is getting intense. Oh no. He sees something. What could it be? <laughs> oh my god, dude. He's getting closer. Is he going to touch whatever it is? Oh no, it's dark. What, we're not gonna find out? <laughs> Starring Kyle Pala as Jerry. My dad's name is Jerry, so that's why I named it Jerry. Well, my character, Jamie, Jerry. <laughs> I shot all this weirdness by myself. This is like in our crawl space in our basement. Um, and I shot it all with, <laughs> with like a really old camera on a tripod and yeah. This was like early stages of Kyle getting into um, filming, <laughs> filmmaking, cinematography. <laughs> I've got plenty more where that came from, but I'm gonna hop in bed now and uh, chill for a little bit, watch some of The Witcher. I just ordered some food, um, but I can include some of that in tomorrow's video as well. I have like 500 videos on private. <laughs> no joke, 500. And some of them are Disney. Maybe we'll do some like old Disney videos that I have private from YouTube. Could do that. I'm telling you guys, The Witcher is so good. It's not for kids though. It's not for kids. It's basically like kind of like rated R, but it is so darn good. Give it a shot. And thank you guys for recommendations. Speaking of that, I'm gonna need more because I'm probably gonna finish this today. So um, give me some uh, things I should watch on Netflix. I have a ton of recommendations on Instagram, but I haven't really asked you guys on here. So let me know what I should watch. The best way I can describe The Witcher, it's kind of like Game of Thrones, but with like magic and whatnot i uh played the witcher when i was a kid on the xbox 360. um it was a game that's how i knew what it was but i believe it's also books
<laughs> this is like day eight of doing this. The cool thing about this is I get to show you guys some nice places to eat outside of Disney. Let me get a hat, my hair looks like crap. If you guys like wings, like I do, I absolutely love wings. Gators Dockside has the best wings around here in Florida. And if you think something else is better, let me know because I haven't found anything better besides Gators Dockside and it's literally amazing. Mango habanero, these wings are no joke. They're amazing, it's literally like one of my favorite meals and the ranch is so good. I'm even going to say it's better than Buffalo Wild Wings. I haven't had Buffalo Wild Wings in a while, but they kind of remind me of the wings at ESPN over at the boardwalk. Still closed, but these are really good. Okay, so I did just take a nap, but that's because like last night I didn't sleep well at all. Like I was tossing and turning for some reason. I just couldn't sleep. Like I wasn't tired. It was weird. So it's like, like a good hour nap. I mean, <laughs> gosh, it's kind of crazy that all I've been doing really is just literally being lazy. I'm so ready to go back to Disney. I'm honestly starting to feel like these videos just are kind of just getting so repetitive, especially now that I, like, I'm feeling so much better. It brings me back to the days of when uh, 2020, March, <laughs> April, May, June, July. I remember um, quarantine with JoJo and we were just like, it was just like Groundhog Day. I said this the other vlog, but it's literally just like Groundhog Day over and over again. Good thing I am feeling better, so we have that. But I'm so ready to just go on out and go into the world, go shopping. And we are coming up on our uh, one year of daily vlogging. I believe it's January 4th, and then we've posted every day for one year, which is kind of crazy. It's absolutely nuts. It's been a great ride this year. It's been absolutely incredible, like what we've all done. I brought it up so many times, but it's like just right around the corner. It's like there for the taking. We can see it now. And then 2022, we're going to do it all over again. Maybe. I don't know. I'll let you guys know what my plan is. I still have to think about that. What I mean by that is like, I think sometimes next year, there might be a day where I might not have an upload. I don't really know yet. I, I don't know what my goals yet are for 2022. I have no idea. Um, I might actually think about those today just because I won't have that much downtime to think about them, but um, there might be a time next year where I might need a break or I might need to take a time off or might just like evaporate from YouTube for a while. Um, YouTube burnout, it is, it is real. Um, I haven't really felt it much this year just because we've been so busy, um, but I'm feeling it kind of right now just because we haven't been able to do anything. It's kind of just killing me sitting here and whatnot. Um, oh man, I think, um, that's going to be it for today's video, everybody. I really just kind of need a break. Um, <clears throat> just like, it's just, it's, man, I just feel like everything's just on repeat and, um, I just kind of need to relax a little bit. I mean, I have been relaxing, but more like just not do this all day again. Um, I'm kind of leaning more towards staying in until January 1st, because that's our 10 day mark. I mean, what's one more day, honestly, when we think about it. Um, I've been to Disney a lot. It would stink, I mean, it does stink that we probably won't be able to go to um, Epcot on the 31st, but we'll see and all. But um, right now I kind of just need to, need to chill and have like, you know, I don't know. I don't know, honestly, because we've been lazy these past couple of days of feeling good. It's not just like, you know, sitting here recovering like we were before, but um, now I just, I don't know. I need a break. I need a break. Ah, uh, man. Uh, it's been a struggle today. Oh my gosh. Well, with that, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please let me know if there's anything you guys wanna see because I am running out of ideas here. I just need to break free soon, but we can't. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And um, that was it for your, your daily dose.